the Yitzhak test. Matthew 7, verse 23 to 27 says, Then I will tell them to their faces, I never knew you. Get away from me, you workers of lawlessness. So everyone who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a sensible man who built his house on bedrock. The rain fell, the rivers flooded, the winds blew and beat against that house, but it didn't collapse because its foundation was on rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a stupid man who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the rivers flooded, the wind blew and beat against that house, and it collapsed, and its collapse was horrendous. Verse 27 follows what was said by Messiah in verse 23. The key words are lawlessness in verse 23, and collapse was horrendous in verse 27. And in the middle, between those two verses, Messiah Yeshua speaks about a firm foundation and a poor foundation that leads to a horrendous collapse. In the message, the Yitzhak test, we will focus on real people from the past in the Bible to study their lives to see who had a firm foundation, those who had shaky foundations, and those who totally collapsed. When we take a look at those truths and see how those errors are playing into our future, how those lessons we should have learned are now about to haunt us. The events in the Middle East are not just random occurrences or happenings, they are all planned and ordained by Jehovah himself, written in a book well over 2,000 years ago. We will study the book of Ezekiel and look specifically at chapter 38 to see why certain American embassies were attacked and why. Section 1 of this message is entitled, The Troubles Because of a Poor Foundation. Section 2, Trust and Desire. Section 3, The Walls Being Built But Get Stopped. Section 4, Pray That It Does Not Happen in Winter. Finally, Section 5, Ezekiel 38, The Coming War.